In this lesson, I'm gonna show you two different ways you can finger pick this song, Gratitude by Brandon Lake. I've done another full tutorial on this song, showing the chords, the strumming pattern, a little bit of the finger picking. But a lot of people have been asking, hey, can you do a more uh, detailed breakdown of how to finger pick this song? Because it is very nice, very pretty. Um, so that's what I'm gonna show you in this lesson. So if you want to go to the other lesson, the full song lesson, showing you the strum pattern and everything else, I'll include a link for that up top. Um, but yeah, so we'll kind of zoom in on these chords and on the picking pattern. But first, let me just play through that first verse and second verse, and then we'll zoom in and we'll get into it. Don't my words fall short I've got nothing new How could I express Oh my gratitude I could sing these songs As I often do Every song must end And you never do All right, so first of all, these are the chords we need for this. We need the G chord. We need the E minor chord. We need the D chord. And the C chord. So those are the chords we need, the picking pattern. So over here on my right hand side, this thumb, is gonna be assigned to the top three strings. So depending on the bass note of the chord, the thumb is gonna pluck one of those top three strings. My pointer finger is always gonna be locked in and plucking that third string from the bottom, the G string, and then I have my middle finger right underneath that, plucking the B string, second string from the bottom, and then I have my pinky and my ring finger just stabilizing this whole position here, because we don't wanna be picking and coming off. That's just gonna be really, really hard to get back to that next chord and the next picking pattern. So we've got the pinky finger and the ring finger locking in on that high E string, and I can pluck it too with that ring finger. So here's going to be just a basic version of how I would finger pick it and how I've done it in church before. So what I'm doing is I'm going thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. That's your basic pattern. So all my words fall short. I've got nothing new. How could I express? Oh my gratitude. Now you can go that slow, but I would go a little bit faster and it's gonna sound like this. So for that G chord, E minor, D, C, so if we just stick with that pattern,
we do it four times. All my words fall short. I've got nothing new. And how could I express all my gratitude? You're doing that pattern four times for each chord. Now, if you want to have it be a little bit more rhythmic, we're going to add in a couple extra strum, a couple extra picks on your pointer finger on that G string and then with your thumb on that uh, D string. So. So you're just adding a, an extra thumb and pointer on each chord. So instead of going you're doing So that would be your easier picking pattern of the two. And then for the chorus, you're just gonna do that same pattern. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. I know it's not much but I've nothing else fit for a king Except for a heart singing Hallelujah So I'm going to show you the other way you can pick this song and then at the end of that I'm going to show you actually a way you can pick it with just using one finger on these on these chords here. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a different sound and a different feel because it's more open and more and less of these high notes there. So the other way you could play the song is You're going thumb, pointer, thumb, small pause, middle. So that would be a little bit more challenging of a strum pattern. It's it's just a little with that little pause between I've heard people call it just kind of like a ghost note. It's a little bit more challenging timing wise to get the hang of it, but you could definitely do that as well. Now if you wanted to, like I said, just play this finger picking part with just one finger on the bass notes, you could just do it like this. You're picking the same strings with this right side, right hand.
So you're pick, you're doing the same picking pattern with these fingers on the same strings, but you're just over here, you're just playing the bass note. So for the G, that's our G, G, E minor, that low E string is the bass note. For the D, you're just putting your middle, your pointer finger, like as if you were gonna do this D, you just keep that pointer finger there and take the other two fingers off. And then also, if you wanted to, you could do this D chord. So it's just your C shape, C major, slide it up two full frets. And you can do that picking wise if you do these full chord formations or if you just do the bass notes. So hopefully that helps a little bit more with some finger picking options, an easier way, a little bit more of a challenging way. And hopefully you can just play along to some of that finger picking that I was doing and just, you know, keep rewinding it, playing through, practicing it, and really just kind of ingraining that muscle memory with your picking pattern. So if you need the chord charts for this, I have them on my Patreon page, which I'll link in the description below. Um, you can print them off, you can download them, put some, um, which picking patterns just put some notes on the chord charts if you need them so uh, definitely know that those are available on my patreon page and yeah i hope this helps you out if you have any questions definitely leave a comment and let me know